Okay, so this is a short, keep it short, history of my introduction to long lines. Um, when I started training, which is close to 18 years ago, basically I was six foot leather leash, doing a lot of you know, close in work, sits and set um, heels and short distance recall. And then eventually you would go and put a dog on a long line to start it getting a recall from distance. So that gave you a way to communicate to the dog, to mitigate if they weren't listening, you could pick it up and give it a check. And so it was like a means to an end. Um, then I went and did a, a remote collar, an e-collar workshop, and they were using long lines in there, and basically they were using that to create context to the e-collar, which is also pressure. So once the dog turned and resolved the line pressure, then you could layer the e-collar on. And so when the dog felt line pressure and then it felt the e-collar tap, it would move with you and it eventually it understood, oh, when I feel the e-collar uh, bump, or the tap, then the dog would turn and resolve that pressure. And so as I got more and more into working dogs on remote collar, I started to actually see the value of just taking the dog out and long lining it, not even starting it on the e-collar. And it was just a great way for me to just to collect data on the dog, just to kind of figure out who that dog was by not putting a lot of demands on it in an open field and getting that dog to work back towards me. Because, you know, most of the stuff I was doing was working the dog close and then letting it go out and, and working it back towards me where I just flipped it. And when I flipped that, I actually was very surprised at what I saw and how quickly I could build a relationship with any dog for the most part just by doing that exercise. It also allowed me to look at like that dog's drive levels and um, kind of get a, a gauge on what those look like and the structure of the dog as it moved. And so now forward into doing workshops and mentoring and I've been doing that for probably 11 years and at that time we were just using these flat leashes and martingale collars and so it was kind of cumbersome to have to always like size a dog on a martingale and so I said you know it'd be great as a 15 foot slip lead and so that's what sent me on my journey and because nobody was making them like Mendota wasn't making them and so I finally found somebody to make them for me and I was just using them with my clients and myself and they started to you know comment on how great they felt and so anyway so that's where the dynamic long line came from the dynamic lead long line so um, if you haven't taken a dog out and truly long line the dog I mean to me it's the most valuable tool that I have it's if I'm gonna put my hands on the dogs that's the first thing they're going on um, I don't see it really as much as a means to an end as I see it as a way to tap into the dog, to build a relationship with the dog. Um, and so it's just something, I look at it now as something like doing place work, which is a very valuable um, exercise to do with the dog. So anyways, but yeah, if you haven't tried it, um, there's a video on the dynamic lead that shows you how to introduce the dog to the long line. And while you're there watching that, you have a few different colors you can pick from. And um, I suggest you get out and give it a go. All right, thanks for watching.